Welcome, welcome to the Bella Blog, and this is a spiritual warfare series. So we're going to be talking about, and this is a great subject, and a lot of the subjects I talk about are taboo, but this is about child rejected, the curse of being a, a legitimacy, a legitimate child, you know, the, the bastard curse of illegitimacy. And it operates when a person was conceived out of wedlock, rape, or incest. And that is a demonic door that opens to bring them in an innocent child. The bastard curse starts at the time of conception. And it its consequence is that for 10 generations, people are not able to come into congregation of the Lord. And this speaks in Deuteronomy 23, 2. A bastard child should not enter into a congregation of the Lord. Even to his 10th generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Demon grow stronger in gangs. And I always preach that. Unfortunately, other spirits join with the bastard curse into a child. While in the womb, child conceived out of wedlock. A child or a person will struggle with shame, guilt, feelings of abandonment, fear, spirits of rejection. And that's a biggie, you guys. Self-hatred, feeling invisible, double-mindedness, unclean, just not fitting in. Or feeling of being on the outside looking in. That's just some of the... The, the symptoms it is a curse affecting the child or the person and it what it does it robs them of their identity a spirit of rejection comes on them so they will never fit in and it's a biggie you guys and it stays with you and you won't you can't figure out what's wrong but this is what's wrong it's a it's a curse of the bastard and this puts this rejection spirit on you and it's just really heavy duty a child with a bastard curse will have a hard time with intimate relationships with co-workers, friends, family, husbands, or wives. They can't get close to anybody, okay? They don't have that many friends. And um, the other thing is a person with a bastard curse will most likely struggle with alcohol or drug addiction, um, sexual impurity, like, you know, sex addiction, or abnormal, uh, abnormal problems okay the conception results from the spirit of lust not love they will have trouble giving and receiving love they will have a difficult time trusting themselves or others and often trust the wrong people they'll like get involved with the a wrong kind of group uh, more examples of this in the bible of the spirit of rejection would be second uh, samuel 11 2 through 5 where David conceived a bastard child, and this adultery results in a murder to cover up the sexual sin. Then the child dies. David's household was cursed with the sword. His wives were taken by others. Raped occurred in their family. Is there a sword in your family? That's what you need to ask yourself. Adultery, murder, abortion, incest, wandering, insecurity, sexual sins, all these may arise from and out of the bastard curse. So take notice, okay? Ask the Holy Spirit in prayer to show you if this curse exists in your family line through a generational curse. These are the things that you need to be praying when you ask the Holy Spirit to show and reveal the truth to you. Also, children who had incest relationships will struggle with confusion, frustration, self-accusing hopelessness because of a bastard curse spirit. And it's important to go through deliverance from the spirit of the, the bastard because this is the, I mean, I should say deliverance from the curse of the bastard because this is how you will break the curse. All right. And you need to make sure that they, they get all those other uh, demonic spirits like the spirit of rejection and all the ones that make that hive get stronger and stay in you and 
make it difficult where you can't actually do self-deliverance anymore, that now you need to go get, you know, go to a deliverance ministry. And like I said, most legitimate deliverance ministry shouldn't charge you anything, okay? If you want to donate to that ministry with your own amount, that's fine. But no one should tell you how much to donate, okay? I just want to bring that up. It's important to go through deliverance, okay? So make sure you take care of it. It's a time now to break the, the bastard of the curse. First, breaking the bastard curse, you must forgive your mother or father for their sins, being conceived out of wedlock, and also forgive them for how it has affected you, okay? Because you'll keep that on you, that grudge, and it gets bigger and bigger, and it festers, and, and then... Then you have a, a bigger issue than you started off with. So, you know, make make sure you forgive them. You know, uh, especially because, you know, forgive them to being conceived out of wedlock. Uh, Father God, I forgive my mom for having me being conceived out of wedlock. And let her go free and forgive her from my heart for the bastard curse. Amen. The second, breaking the bastard curse is uh let's do this prayer father god i forgive the person who raped my mom and let them go free for forgiving them from my heart amen thank you jesus third if you came about through incest father god i forgive the person who did incest on my mother and i ask you to forgive this man who is part of putting on this bastard curse spirit on me i let them go free from my heart through forgiveness amen also, the fourth is prayer to confess and breaking the spirit of illegitimacy, okay? I, Bella Orsi, confess the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior and renounce the kingdom of darkness and all the works of the devil, and I renounce all the sins of my ancestors back to Adam and Eve and everyone in between for those received out of wedlock, especially renounce all sexual sins from of my ancestors, in particularly the sins of adultery, fornication, rape, incest, confessed by the break of the spirit of illegitimacy. If any of my ancestors committed these sins, I declare their effect upon me null and void, unaffected. If I have fathered or mothered any illegitimate child, and that it child is not of legal consent in the country of their domicile, I speak for that child and declare and breaking bastard curse upon them is broken by virtue of the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and the authority in his name. The breaking bastard curse and renounce unto the tenth generation that is in uh, renounce unto the tenth generation. This declaration is binding upon all demonic forces which have exercise any influence because of this curse and every effect of this curse is broken including hindrance to worship prayer giving acts of charity reading god's word attendance to the house of god and any inhibitions regarding fellowship and christian communion i declare all of aforementioned are legal and binding on the earth and in heaven and I, any illegitimate offspring of mine, are free from the bastard curse, and henceforth have every right to enter fully into a personal relationship with God and enjoy the full benefits of a corporate worship, including receiving the body and blood of our Lord Jesus through communion. The courts of heaven, the regions of hell, and the agreement of my Christian brothers and sisters are all witness to this declaration and agreement in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And by the power of authority of Jesus Christ, I command by binding and breaking the spirit of illegitimacy and all other spirits of confusion, rejection, frustration, hopelessly, hopelessness, fear around relationships, shame, guilt, feeling of abandonment, spirit of uh, the self-hatred, feeling invisible, double-mindedness, unclean spirits, lust, addiction, need for love and acceptance off my life. And I command every demonic spirit named to go to dry places now. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, heal my heart from all the rejection and all the barriers I built around my heart 
to keep others out, to not be hurt by breaking the spirit of a legitimacy. And I am seeing myself free from the bastard curse, and I am no longer. Thank you, Jesus. I hope this blesses you. I pray every day that the knowledge that I put out there blesses all that hears it. And I ask Jesus to put anointing on this video and all my videos. You know, the Lord Jesus is coming back for a glorious church at his return. And I believe helping our brothers and sisters break free of the bastard curse that has inhibited their fellowship is an important part of helping his church to be more glorious. If we, the sheep of the Lord pasture, will look out for one another and stand together, we will not have to fight off the goats the battles belongs to the Lord. We just stand together in love, helping and encouraging one another. And the authority of this terrible curse will melt away until it is only a bad memory. We believe with all our hearts that this is true. God bless you.